Well, this is the Sanborn House, and we welcome you to it. It is one of the last surviving great mansions of Winchester. Uh, the town owns the house and has given a 50-year extendable to 100-year lease to the Winchester Historical Society to uh, renovate and be stewards for the home. And we'd like you to come inside and uh, take a look. Uh, this was built in 1908 and uh, finished uh, by the uh, Sanborn family, the uh, Chase and Sanborn uh, coffee monies that uh, they were very active in the Winchester Country Club, the Winchester Hospital, and uh, had a house that cost 250000 to build at the time, which obviously uh, would cost tens of millions of dollars to uh, meet that uh, right now. As you can see, it's a grand old estate. Uh, there are 19 rooms in it. We'll just take a tour of the first floor. Uh, this is the oak room that the uh, family used uh, it for games. It was first the Sanborn family and then later uh, the Downs family that lived for many years here. And uh, they have actually sold to the uh, Catholic Church and uh, Mary Cliff Academy was built on the uh, nine and a half acres uh, and it was, uh, the, there were some 19 nuns that lived in this house. As we go from the old room with its arts and crafts style, we have the study, and uh, the study we use for meetings. We have two or three uh, meetings a week of community groups and uh, another couple meetings of Winchester Historical Society uh, events. And uh, it's been used for birthdays, anniversaries, bar mitzvahs, uh, weddings, the whole deal. As you can see, there's some great old books here, uh, just a very small part of the Historical Society's collection. And uh, we have uh, some tremendous artwork that's around. And uh, the house is uh, being more and more used. We certainly invite people to use it for their events. As we uh, go from the uh, library, we go into uh, the music room. And this is the um, area where the uh, Downs family uh, that were the last great uh, residents of it uh, would uh, come every night after supper. They had five servants that would serve supper and take care of the house, including chauffeurs. And uh, there were uh, three different stairways. The one great stairway is uh, the ceremonial and uh, regular staircase. There's a uh, servant staircase and a children's staircase. And this music room uh, has uh, had uh, probably 30 to 50 different events that the society has either sponsored uh, and another 50 or so that we've uh, uh, rent out to different groups. The dining room here, the uh, gold gilded ceiling, uh, was uh, you know a work of art at the time. There are um, uh, plaster work that really uh, couldn't be recreated very easily today. And uh, luckily the uh, recreation department that had this after the uh, uh, church did not uh, paint any of the woodwork and uh, it's very much in the Real great look of this house is the staircase leading up to the uh, stained glass window on the second floor. Uh, the staircase uh, has been used for uh, town pictures, for wedding pictures, and uh, the uh, Tiffany uh, style stained glass is uh, original to the house. And uh, recently when the uh, Skinner appraisers were here for a uh, antique roadshow type of night, they took one look at it and said that it's really worth 150 to 200,000. Obviously we're going to uh, raise some money to uh, do the final repairs to this uh, great stained glass, but it is a fine example of what the Stephanie, Tiffany uh, stained glass style was at the time. It used to be the, the view from here, before all the trees filled in, you could see clearly into the center of Winchester, and this, of course, is the very popular sledding hill in the winter for uh, school-age kids. And so they start right up here and go right through the chute 
uh, all the way down the hill, and it's a great family thing. We're planning some days to have hot chocolate and everything, and tours of the house as people use it.